I'm just practicing my Beethoven over here at the Marriott. Fuck, it's the Hilton. <laughs> <laughs> just keep going, just keep rolling with it. Yeah, 45K, well, that's what I do for a living. Sell products on Amazon. You come hang out. We're kicking it. Got my man William here. Uh, somebody else just showed up. It's just starting any minute now. Stay lit. He's talking a little bit about what everybody does. He's selling used books. He's doing OA. We do private label. He's getting started. What about yourself? Do wholesale. Wholesale? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, we do. Yeah, nine, 90 percent. 85 to 90 percent of our sales are wholesale. What do you do otherwise? Uh, private label. Okay. Yeah. So we do about two million a year in private label. Um, and the, the margins are much healthier. Much healthier, right? Yeah, even with all the, even with all the shit products we've created. Even with the ad spend? For yeah, the campaign? like all together, it's healthier. When did you get into the whole Amazon? About seven years ago. Seven so years. Sebastian, who I'm sure you guys have seen on Instagram as well, okay. um, Sebastian started selling products in his basement wow. about seven years ago, and then I joined on about five years ago, and it's just been, ever since then, it's just been t taken off, you know? Like everybody's, how do I get started? How do I get started? Get started. That's how you get started. You know, because if you, so many people like yourself, I'm sure you've probably, like you said, you spent what, two months researching products, but you yeah. still haven't sold anything. You could have already been to five Marshalls and at least bought some Nike socks or, or maybe not Nike, you'd probably be gated, but you know, some, some polo shirts or something to sell, you know, just something to get the hang of shipping and reimbursements and refunds and, and referral fees and pick and pack fees and something. It'll teach you a lot. Yeah, putting in a shipment, you know, creating a skew, reading keep a charts, like all that stuff. If you don't get started, you're never gonna figure that out. So it's gonna make your first product, when you buy that product, even more challenging to be successful in. Because you'll have no Amazon experience. Well no, I think the first employee you need is an in-house employee. Really? Yeah, you need someone to take care of your inventory. You shouldn't be stickering products. You said you did what? Over over six figures last year? Yeah. Yeah, you shouldn't be stickering. No, yeah. Really like freestyling. Freestyling. You did two. You did quarter mil freestyling. You shouldn't be stickering products, man. You shouldn't be stickering products. That's a tough question, you know? Because honestly, from my own experience, I wouldn't change a thing, you know? Because it, everything I did got me like right here, sitting with, you know, nine resellers in the middle of Houston. So like I did something right, right? But what I would say like my best advice is to be, you know, don't let fear, you know, take over. Because like fear, the fear of financial insecurity, um, fear of success, fear of failure, you know, fear of not being enough, that stuff will eat you up inside, like enough to where you can't even sleep at night. Fear of getting your Amazon account shut down, do not let that fear take over. That fear will keep you so many steps back instead of moving forward. You know, and, and the best way for me to get rid of that fear is I have like a, you know, a morning ritual. I'm real centered in like, in, in spirituality and meditation, but that's not the only way that I use. I use it by it, talking about it with other people. You know, like if I'm fearful about something, like, hey, Sebastian, man, I can't stop thinking about this. Like I talk to someone about it, you know, and then all of a sudden that fear's cut in half. You know, I, I forget the saying, but like, it's like sadness shared is, uh, I'm gonna fuck it up. I don't even, <laughs> I don't know. Like a joy shared is doubled and, and, and sadness shared or fear shared is cut in half. Something along those lines, but it makes perfect sense, right? Like you share joy with someone, it's double because now they're happy, you're happy. You share fear or sadness with someone, it, it alleviates some of that sadness so it's cut in half. For our own products, we think Amazon uh, advertising is a bang for its buck. We spend ten thousand dollars a month on advertising; it generates over one hundred twenty thousand dollars in sales. So it gives you all the uh, statistics on your yeah, yeah. It gives you breakdown of graphs and charts and Excel files of keywords, and then you move those keywords from the automatic campaign to the manual campaign, and then there's a, even additional services you could pay for to actually manage those campaigns. For a couple hundred dollars a month so it's a game they manage them for you yeah yeah but we also do we also do 22 million dollars in sales so it's a ratio so we sell hundred and ten thousand orders a month so 17 is really not that many you know even though it's close i'm sure if they have a limit it's it's close to what that limit is you know 
19%. It actually, we got a little concerned, it dropped to 15 for like three or four days the other day. I couldn't figure out why. Whenever a change big like that happens on our Amazon account, I wanna know, like if buy percentage drops to 15%, I wanna know why. Yes, yes. I look at, I look at our excess inventory, our non-competitive inventory, why are these SKUs not moving? You know, and then I'll go through literally our pricer sorts it by excess and non-competitive and I'll look at all 300 products in each category. I literally spend the entire day looking at every single product, fixing pricing, adjusting pricing, dropping floor price, raising ceiling price. Uh, no, we don't have an app, but we built our repricer that has like restocking options in it. And we were just talking about it earlier. It's something we're gonna be dropping as a, a system, as a service. So it will be available for, a, yeah. Yeah, so this will have a full-fledged ERP system, which essentially that's, that's what that is. It's managing your finances, basically, your item costs. Um, it also has reordering metrics, um, and it has repricing capabilities. Yeah, it's all algorithmic-based as well. Yeah. No, I've, I'm, sure, I'm a firm believer. I, I, I think Inventory Lab created a beautiful software that's helped a lot of people sell on Amazon but I disagree with the, the, the system as a service because it takes people off of Amazon. A lot of people don't even know how to navigate Amazon, how to create a listing on Amazon because they're just so used to using Inventory Lab. You know, it's like, all right, now let's create this listing on Amazon. It's like, but I don't know how. It's like, what do you mean you don't know how? I've, I've been using Inventory Lab for, for the past nine months, you know, two years. Yeah. It takes the Amazon out of FBA. So we mm. don't use Inventory Lab. So like the first rung in the value ladder is like all of the free stuff we provide, right? Like all the free information we give away on uh, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, TikTok, like all that free information, that's the first rung in the value ladder. And then included in that first rung are like these meetups that we do, right? Nobody pays anything, it's just all like, let's hang out, let's talk, let's get to know each other, let's talk about what you do for business, let's talk about what you do, let's learn from each other, let's gain knowledge and continue to grow, right? And then usually for most people, the second rung is like close friends. Uh, has anybody here been in close friends? No, so, okay, so none of you have been in close friends, right? But some of you passed that first rung and jumped right into the second rung which is like a personalized one-on-one -on -one mentoring session, right? Like Will and I did one yesterday. We sat down for an hour and a half and just talked to Amazon. No, well, two and a half. Two and a half, so yeah. two and a half hours, right? And we just talked to Amazon. And then like the next rung in that value ladder would be like a four week or an eight week mentoring session, which right now Corinne and I were, what, two sessions in? And we're going heavy and like, you know, and, it, and it's like value driven, you know, we spend the time and then like another rung would be like the trade show walkthrough or another run would be like a, um, a warehouse optimization visit where we actually fly out to your warehouse, organize it the way to streamline your efficiency. So essentially it looks like a Ford production line where we're lining everything up and setting up a warehouse because we've set up many warehouses and we know what to do and what not to do, you know? And then that top tier of the rung is like our mastermind, right? Where it's like a yearly fee and we meet in a different country once a year. We have a meeting at our warehouse. We show you how we operate, right? And like, so people come in at different rungs, but like this first rung for me is the most important rung, you know, because it lets you know, like, this is what we do for a living. You know, I sell on Amazon for a living and I help people sell on Amazon as a side business, you know? And I do it because it helps me put my head on the pillow, rest easier a little, a little bit at night, knowing that like I helped you solve a problem today, or I helped you increase your profits, or I helped you grow your revenue. You know, it makes me happy knowing that you're able to provide for your families and like rest your head easier at night with the value that we give you. You know, so like that's why we host these free meetups and that's why it frustrates me when I hear stories like the one you're telling me where people aren't providing that value. You know, people aren't providing that content because it's like, I'm a value-driven, integrity-driven man. You know, it's like uh, my mission in life is to help as many people as possible grow successful businesses. And I don't care what I gotta do to do it. You know, if someone pays for an hour and a half session, like this guy will, and we sit there for two and a half hours and talk, like then that's what I'm gonna do, you know? And it's like, it's important to me, you know? All levels. All levels. I've worked with people who've never sold a product on Amazon, like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's never sold a product on Amazon, but he's interested 
in what we do, you know? And then I've worked with people who do, you know, close to $2 million a month in Did sales. You, I mean, you said you had a guy who was doing a quarter million, and now he's selling 500 a month. Yeah, Ryan. Yeah, quarter Ryan, million now. We met Ryan a six months ago. He was doing a quarter million a month. And now, since we started working with him, he hired five employees. He's pumping out five, a half million dollars a month. He doubled his business in six months. Crazy, right? That's a wrap. Houston meetup. See you in the next day. I'm too late, I'm too late. I'm too late.